Tom's position on the Board of Commissioners is a part-time job. His real passion lies out here on this family farm. The sun beams down onto this roof, but with 36 new solar panels from Solarize Athens, they will take advantage of increased savings. And from these savings, Nucci Space will be able to offer 150 more counseling appointments every year. They do have a lead on two suspects, but it's still very early. So early, in fact, that earlier when we walked around the apartment complex, we found some evidence that was still on the ground. Take a look. Now, one of the three tickets must win at least a 40% majority of the vote to win. And if none do, there will be a two-party two runoff tomorrow. With the recruiting class's top quarterback, Jacob Eason, already on campus as an early enrollee, one of the first big signings of the morning for UGA was athlete Mikol Hardman, and running back commit Elijah Holyfield also signed his letter of intent this morning. These UGA ice hockey players are in the locker room getting ready for their first sold-out home game of the season. Lacing up skates, taping down pads, prepping equipment, and feeling some nervous energy are all parts of the pregame routine. But given the team's status as a non-varsity sport, playing hockey is the easy part. Non-varsity sport is we're going to fund ourselves. So each one of the guys in the room pays a certain amount of dues every year, and that helps us function. But the team's independence puts the players in charge and lets them think big. What the players are doing with the team that's all coming from within them, and I've seen incredible progress this year. Really great performance on the ice and also organizationally. Taking the ice at the Classic Center for every home game provides plenty of marketing opportunities. Promotions and fundraisers such as Chuck a Puck, sorority date events, and this night's teddy bear toss make it easy and fun to give the team much needed support during games. We're gonna have a packed house, and we're a club team. There's, uh, I'd pay dues twice a year if I had to. Uh, Keep that going. It's an honor and a pleasure. It's the best. While the Ice Dogs take care of business on the ice, hardworking interns take care of just about everything else on game days, from arena setup to merchandise sales. They are the lifeblood of this program. They pretty much do everything except play hockey. The players really appreciate everyone helping because if it wasn't, I mean, if it wasn't for the staff helping, they wouldn't be able to do this. So it's nice they always thank us and everything. With everyone involved in the program doing his and her part, the team can keep scoring goals as well as reaching toward them, both in the near and distant future. It would be awesome to win the Nationals, and I'd like to just see this program continue to grow as much as it can grow, hopefully into a big-time Division I NCAA program. Win the National Championship, for us to be a D1 hockey team, I think, that, that's the goal. That's where I want this program to go. Corey Knapp, Grady News Source. Jackson County voters lined up and signed up at Faith Baptist Church in Jefferson. This polling place serves the largest precinct in the county. Nearly 1,500 registered voters cast their ballots here on Super Tuesday. On the ballots, renewing 1% special sales taxes. This blossom will fund more than $38 million worth of county projects, including road improvement. Road upkeep and the government office buildings we've upgraded and we're taking care of um, we have a new police station and a new courthouse, and so I think that we need to support. A second ballot item, if passed again, will fund $27 million for improvements at Jackson County Schools. Those opposed, however, question how ELOS money is spent. It's the appropriation of the money. I, I don't know how many administrators we have in both the Jefferson City School District and the Jackson County School District, but it's obscene. At some point, taxpayers have to revolt and question whether or not we're um, spending the money on the student. April Soros spearheaded the social media campaign for Vote Yes Jackson County. Yeah. What I'm most excited about is the expansion of our parks and recs facility. You know, we have to travel a lot across the county to um, go to different events, and we're playing in facilities that are really, really outdated. People focus on improvement projects, but County Commission Chairman Tom Crow says paying off debt is SPLOS' number one priority. It, it doesn't matter whether the uh, SPLOS passes or fails, the $21 million of debt has to be paid from some source. And if SPLOS and ELOS pass, Crow says the county has a great track record of delivering on its promises. In the past, we've uh, uh, had SPLOS and we've uh, completed the projects uh, or up to date with them and uh, uh, doing it just as promised to the public. Corey Knapp, Grady News Source. Well, good morning. How are you doing? Sandra Patterson, oh, known at I'm Selling wonderful. Dining Commons as Simply Miss Sandra, does everything you would expect a cashier to do. She tallies customers, That's takes payments, and mans the register. I just reset the register. 
and we're ready for lunch. But this is where she stops being ordinary. From 6.30 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. Monday through Friday, Sandra smiles and warmly greets every single student who walks through these Snelling turnstiles. Her passion for encouraging kids began nearly 30 years ago. I always wanted to work with younger people. I started out at daycare. And when I left the daycare after it closed down, that's when I came to UGA. And it's been great ever since. And her impact today stretches beyond just students on the meal plan. It doesn't matter what kind of day I've had. If I go in and Miss Sandra is there, I know that I'm going to have a fine day at work. Oh, Miss Sandra's ability that. to maintain her okay. positive outlook through long shifts comes I from her strong faith in God and a deep and family connection. Home. When I grew up, I didn't have, I had my grandmom and my dad, but my mom passed away when I was small. So I didn't have all that love and it's like, I want to give what I didn't have. Sandra hey, looks after not only thousands of students, but also now. her large family at home. She's a mother, grandmother, and one of ten sisters, and became a role model to her niece, whose mother passed away as well. I was fresh out of high school, so she pretty much told me, you know, a lot of things about being a mother, growing up, being a woman. Um, care of myself. For Miss Sandra, at Snelling and at home, it all comes down to love. I just feel love and feel like I'm making a difference somewhere. Corey Knapp, Grady News Source. Okay, darling. Hi, boo.